Hello, I'm Atika Faruqi. This is a place to relax and just enjoy good conversations. Bin thus flaunt your love for movies and like everything creative and passionate. Today is again a work of love and labor by many people who have put their all into their work. So, let's begin with the highlights. Selfie is a realistic subject that presents its story in dramatic twists, but seldom does rise to loftier heights. A chit chat with the Radhna girl and the family man on their new project Gul Mohar, a saga of relationships. Singer Nikita Gandhi talks about security at music concerts and her latest chat busters. Let's talk about Selfie that releases this week. A Malayalam comedy about the delicate relationship between stars and their fans is cutely, funnily and sometimes quite dramatically handled in its Hindi remake. Raj Mehta's Selfie is a Bollywood version of Lal Jr's driving license that released in 2019 and mounts a broad dramedy in favour of the superstar and sometimes the whole industry. It's a satire that's given to you as a comedy. Akshay Kumar portrays the heavyweight Vijay Kumar who is a super duper star and also a family man who loves his wife and is on his way to becoming a father before which he must complete his film and travel to New York. To complete this film he must finish the climax that needs him to have that driving license. Now the RTO officer in Bhopal Om Prakash Agrawal who along with his son is an ardent fan of Vijay and watches all his movies and then messages him too will have to give him this license but due to a confusion a private meeting at 7 a.m. in the morning is made public and the entire TV media dawns over the RTO office putting Vijay in the spot for having driven till now without a license all hell breaks loose and the media with its obnoxious hashtags such as boycott Bollywood, boycott Vijay Kumar and many others runs crazy over a license. The film is a satire that puts this culture of audiovisual revenge and social media onslaught onto a celebrity in the spotlight. Just one fan's desire for a selfie with his demigod creates a childlike story of vengeful revenge and upmanship between an Aam Aadmi and a Cine Idol. The RTO officer becomes a symbol of Aam Aadmi and what he can do and the Cine Idol must make tactics to survive this psychological warfare that could harm his reputation as the actors are often termed as entitled by Aam Aadmi's. It was quite crazy while I was watching it and certainly something very new to our eyes. The director Raj Mehta's direction plays to the gallery the whole time where even the people sitting with me were often clapping and laughing aloud and the Shab Sharma screenplay is taut and pretty crisp. All the performances Akshay, Imran Hashmi, Nushra, Diana were true to their roles and evoked empathy. At 143 minutes and a deafening background music, the film often softens its stand towards the superstar. Akshay Kumar and director Raj Mehta collaborated on the film Good News which was high on humour. Here too the film keeps cracking you up even while passing a sharp comment on the environment of hostility against film people. Akshay is so different here, real, easy, cool, quite relatable. Hashmi tries his best here but ultimately the story had a certain destiny of this character in mind which Imran couldn't do much about. Overall, it's an entertaining film which is a sharp, cutting-edge, satirical take but could only travel thus far while it had a lot of scope. <music> Moving on, Gul Mohar is a beautiful plant and also a symbol of spring. An upcoming film called Gul Mohar, which is a story about a bungalow of the same name where the family that lived inside it is making a choice to live separately now. In an age of TV media where an old woman is shown to be insecure and actually play petty politics to get the hold of that ancestral bungalow. Here is a fresh take where a matriarch of such family chooses to live separately. Also, the director has been an old AD and collaborator with Meera Nair and the story seems to have stemmed from Meera Nair's personal experience. Here is a chit chat with the cast and the director. Ma'am, I want to tell you one thing. 
I've started getting the vibes of Maharani Gayatri Devi from you now. Oh God! <laughs> you look so elegant. Welcome back on the scene. Thank I'm very you. glad. Thank you. And I must tell you, I've shot with Saif and Soha a couple of times, and they are extremely well-behaved children. Now, men and women. So it is also connected with the movie here. What is the trick of raising well-behaved, free-thinking individuals? Uh, there's no trick to it. You just have to lead them by example, hmm. and not by not by words, not by just telling them what to do. They have to be. It's when they see you doing something that yes. is when uh, it works. So in the popular entertainment scene in India, there is this seventy-year-old woman on screen, mostly vying for the attention, time, money, and the bungalow of the house because there is a silent competition of hers with the bahus. and that's how we see women on screen and here is this woman who is saying that is why you see them like that because mm. uh there is one earning member yeah. which is the son and the the wife and the mother in law both are vying for his attention for source, yeah. because they're both insecure mm. so today uh it's thankfully not like that yeah. because uh, mothers are also okay financially they have options and so do wives mm -hmm. so uh it's a myth that uh, this continues yeah. this kind of because that that time the man was the soul yes and then uh, so they would uh, you know do kind of uh, you yeah. know try to win his attention yes. that i'm better i i look exactly. after you and i'm feeding you better So thankfully, that's in the past. Yeah, and because cinema imitates life, and life imitates art, so yes. it's very important that we do have these characters, such female characters that are so empowered that mm. they don't need any other, especially not a man, uh, mm. for her to fall back on as an option. There's no no harm uh, having a man to yeah, fall back upon yeah. at all. I think men should be included in everything. Uh, uh, we don't want to live without men. <laughs> Manoji, I've been watching you for a long time. You've been watching me. सीधे सादे रोल्स में देख रही हूँ वो सत्या का वो रोड का वो पिंजर का वो राजनीति का कहा है वो दौड़ता हुआ चिंगारता हुआ किरदार वो आदमी कहाँ है अब यहाँ बैठा कितना बढ़िया है ना कि एक्टर्स को इस तरह के चॉइसेस मिलते हैं और आपको जो है एक्टर्स के अलग अलग फैसेट देखने को मिलते हैं और इस हमें जो है मौका मिलता है ताकि हम अलग अलग चीजें दिखा सके आ, ये दुनिया इस तरह की दुनिया पॉसिबल नहीं थी कोई देता नहीं मुझे आज से दस साल पहले आ, लेकिन थैंक्स टू ओटी टी कि ये ये मुसाफिर अली और ये इस तरह के किरदार मुझे मिलते हैं और इस तरह के डायरेक्टर्स जो हैं आपको नए नए मौके दे रहे हैं नए नए किरदार के साथ में तो आप ये बड़ी कमाल का समय है जिसमें हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं और पहले हम एक साल वेट करते थे तब जाके कोई स्क्रिप्ट हमारे मन का मिलता था अब तो हर दूसरी तीसरी स्क्रिप्ट ऐसी होती है जो जिसका आप हिस्सा होना चाहते हो लाकी Indian audiences don't generally like to see family dramas as so simple and so ordinary. As I mean, there there is a lot of drama in family dramas, but I hardly saw any drama. किसी ने अपनी बात सादगी से बोल दी, किसी ने बात सादगी से समझ ली. Right. And that says a lot about the director and his his background. Tell me your story. No, thank you. But there's so many such good directors like Ray's Chobe, mm. Abhishek Chobe. He's such a fantastic director, yeah. mm. and I think. because you're consuming so much content from all parts of the world mm. slowly your sensibility is also evolving when we made this film uh, i had just become a parent mm. and i wanted to spend more time with my child and i wanted to explore what is yeah. family what is right. home and that's what uh, that's the phase of life that i was in and that's mm. what spoke to me and uh, that's what, how the script got written and so, i would like to know which projects of meera nair have you worked on right from the reluctant fundamentalist to uh, nafas this lovely film that we did for the qatar museum which mm. was designed by jean noel mm. and then uh, there's another film called god room uh, mm. most recently a suitable boy uh, jiske dialogues mein likhe the urdu mein and i'm producing her stage musical of monsoon wedding wonderful so happy to have you as a part Thank of our industry and we have three nominations at the oscars also by oh, the way yes. and now that you have also lived in uh, america and you have the vision of the country as well in terms of cinema how they view cinema 
uh, what do you think? How are they viewing us now? Well, you know, there's no them and uh, us. You know, this whole thing about and Sharmila ji will say it first because her films have gone beyond India right from Operation Shar right. and Nayak. Right. And films, yes. I remember when uh, we were speaking about the Bernal, uh, Berlin Film Festival, mm. and they got so excited that she's in the film because mm. they spoke about Nayak. So yeah. it's just that uh, there have been films that have his films have gone yes. way beyond India. Yes. Uh, it's just that now the world is becoming smaller mm. and uh, at the Oscars as well, it's not about putting them at a pedestal. Of course, they're a much older industry as well, mm. but uh, they're uh, also opening up now. It's become, it's including a lot of other... Uh, Quite diverse. It's uh, becoming diverse. Exactly. Very Diversity has become a, you know, a, a priority for them. And a reality. Yeah. And reality, yeah. Uh, which is the call of the, I mean, need of the hour. Ek hawa, ek fiza chalti hai industry mein. Kisi ek actor ka ek khas andaz bahut chal jata hai mm -hmm. i'm seeing you in roles which are always next door ek mm -hmm. aapki bare mein ek achhi baat ye hai ki aap shahri kirdar bhi bahut acha nibhate hain aap gaon ka aadmi bhi bahut acha nibhate mm -hmm. uh, ye jo phase chal raha hai 5 6 saal se a uh, family man ke liye aapko mm -hmm. isme bhi ek tarah se ek family wali image aapki mm -hmm. capture ki gayi hai kahin aapko aisa lagta hai ki bahut lambi nahi chalni chahiye family image kyunki wo bhi ek, ek image mein banna ek actor ke liye khatarnak hota hai इस तरह से कभी नहीं सोचा जाता है सोच आप एक सामने एक स्क्रिप्ट होती है और कैरेक्टर होता है जो आपको डायरेक्टर चाहता है कि आप कीजिए आपको अगर बहुत कमाल की लगती है तो आप जाकर कीजिए आप जैसे ही सोचना दूसरे का शुरू करते हैं कि वो क्या सोचेगा और ऐसा कहाँ पे हो जाएगा दिक्कत वहाँ पर होती है फैम ए, ये फैमिली एक फैमिली की कहानी है फैमिली मैन में भी मैं फैमिली वाला हूँ फैमिली बाद मैं तो वो तो बीकू मात्र भी फैमिली वाला था <laughs> तो ऐसा तो हर हर yeah. जो है दूसरा कैरेक्टर तीसरा कैरेक्टर right. सदा खान भी फैमिली वाला ही था सो इट्स ऐसे आप कैरेक्टर को कभी जज नहीं करते हैं आप hmm. उसको उसके दुनिया देखते हैं कौन सी दुनिया का हिस्सा है वो hmm. और उसके अपनी जो जर्नी है वो क्या है स्क्रिप्ट में hmm. तो उसके ऊपर में हम लोग कैरेक्टर्स को देखते हैं परिवार और ये सब चीज़ें तो ज़्यादातर कैरेक्टर्स तो, तो अब जो मुझे ऑफर होते हैं अब ज्यादातर उसके परिवार होते हैं ऐसा नहीं कि वो कहीं पर रोमांस कर शुरुआत होती है रोमांस की एज एक्टर्स व्हाट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ क्राफ्ट दैट यू एडमायर द मोस्ट एंड व्हाट इज दैट वन क्वालिटी ऑफ हिज क्राफ्ट दैट यू थिंक इज एडमिरेबल आई थिंक हिज कंसंट्रेशन एंड बीइंग यू नो द एबिलिटी ऑफ बीइंग इन कैरेक्टर आई हैवंट वर्कड इन आई बिलीव दिस इज माय फर्स्ट फिल्म विद हिम Hmm. and i've seen many of his films hmm. and uh, he's uh, and various different kind of roles hmm. um so i mean i've never been disappointed the character that he portrays hmm. he portrays it very honestly hmm. he's a very honest actor and uh, never disappoints hmm. and always has a tinge of humor or tinge of violence yeah. or whatever you might call it violence it. A, a little bit of aggression perhaps not Inside violence yeah. so it's it's there hmm. uh, i would say that he is the same manoj bajpai hmm. but he makes the character different, different there is every a time. subtle difference in everything not just in get up or whatever uh, right. but in his so i think he's a very uh, serious uh, uh, reader of the script hmm. and uh, understanding the character so he does lot of uh, preparation for right. that particular role right. and gets the you know every detail so he knows when he's going to uh, shake right. his uh, fingers yeah. at what point is he going to use yeah, it the facial muscles whatever right. how he will read the particular scene right. uh, how he will interact so it's a bit of a um, planned thing and right. then of course when he's executing it is spontaneous right. thank <laughs> you shamila ji thank you very much and uh, about shamila ji i'm hmm. uh, Uh, जो शमीला जी में जो सबसे कमाल की बात है शी इज अ वेरी गुड लिसनर एंड आई डोंट थिंक आई हैव मेट एनी वन लेटली हु इज सो पेशेंट एंड शी यू नो एंड फोकस्ड एंड ऑल्सो ऑन द सेट जस्ट ऑब्जर्विंग एवरी वन एंड अडेप्टिंग क्विक क्विकली अडेप्टिंग uh that is something uh, you can only do it if you're not uh, too self obsessed right and that's i think that's that's yeah. her major strength uh, maybe it, it may that that was that trait the uh, of her personality maybe helping her also in her life 
Yeah. You know, when she is interacting with her grandchildren yes. or, or her own children. Or anybody. Or anybody, yeah, you right. know. So, because in uh, Delhi, uh, very few people notice that she has a friend of hers. She is Shweta. Hmm. Maybe she's... Uh, She's very young. Yes. Oh, you have a friend who's much younger. Much than younger. Oh, nice. Okay, that that also. I have lots of young. Yeah, nice. that also says so much about Shamila nah, ji. I'm also young. <laughs> oh, yeah, that also says so much about Shamila yeah. ji. Yeah. I know that she's so open. Yeah. And uh, and and so much clarity about uh, uh, different aspects of right. the world and of uh, of life. Uh, and you know, you hardly meet anyone who has such. You know, crystal clear yeah. uh, perception about and such uh, a journey. You have had so many changes, and you've adapted to all of those all of so those gracefully. Things, yeah. well, thank you very much. Um, I don't think I'm crystal clear about a lot of things, but I'm curious, and I want to improve myself. Yes. Even now, there are many things I don't know, so mm. I would like to get better yeah. and have better control over myself, yeah. what I say, what I do. Time for a short break. When we come back, we have the queen of chartbusters, Nikita Gandhi, unplugged. I love her work, and especially that song. Aise tum mile ho, kafirana. Love it, and she has quite a youthful voice, and also a lot of melody in her voice. Very nice. So she comes uh, on the show after this break. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Welcome back to now showing. I'm Atika Faruqi, singer Nikita Gandhi, who's been belting out chart busters after chart busters like Munda Sona Hu Main from Shehzada to Tere Pyar Mein from Ranbir Kapoor Star to Jhooti Mein Makkar. Kya naam hai na? Anyway, feels vulnerable each time she performs on stage. She spoke to my colleague Vishal Chatkara about her latest chart busters and explains how to read music sheets with all those musical notes. Listen in. सिरे विच यार गला तेरी अकरे छेड़खानियां है मिट्टी मिट्टी तेरी सड़े दिल नु लगे शैतानियां है Oh nice thank you so much Nikita Gandhi welcome to Sina News 18 thank you thank you now you got a good start to the year with three songs already <laughs> topping the charts now i want to start with a simple question is singing really that simple and easy or is it a lot of hard work i think it's both yeah i think uh, it's hard work made simple and easy there's so much discipline that we have to create in our lives you know your health can go for a toss your schedules are all over the place so it's a lot of hard work to your body to your mind to your soul you of course are a constant or a frequent collaborator with pritam da yes uh, who also thinks in bengali you have grown up in kolkata do you think working with pritam is like homecoming do yes. you also converse with him in bengali Yes I do. In fact, that's a funny story. First time I met him, uh, I had sung a few scratches at his studio and then we suddenly met in the corridor. And he so I spoke to him in Bengali ki dada kaam ho na chu. So he went white. He was like he he looked like he saw a ghost and he's like who what are you speaking in Bengali? I thought you're a foreigner. He thought I was a foreigner for some reason because I sing in a very angrez way. <laughs> so it was hilarious that that was his impression of me. But yes to answer your question uh it does feel like i've come full circle somehow and it's like a fresh post pandemic start in a way because i started my bollywood career with rapta with pritam da and here we are again with three back to back songs of his would you please like to give us few lines of the song tere pyar mein fakat ye nahi jana jis mo ki dil lage hawale tere kar di hai अब जिंदगी तेरे प्यार में तेरे प्यार में दिल चाहता बस भीगे 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 लेकिन द सोनू निगम एंड द मेंबर्स ऑफ हिज टीम सफर्ड फ्यू इंजरीज एट अ कांसर्ट व्हेन व्हेन अ स्कफल ब्रोक आउट व्हेन वन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स सन ट्राई टू टेक अ सेल्फी does that worry you and do you feel vulnerable when you perform on stage sometimes yes um there have been performances also where i've you know sort of been 
like you know you know you try, you give everybody high fives or fist bumps and you kind of get grabbed by the hand and i've almost fallen off the stage a few times so that does happen it's a very weird spot to be in because you know you don't want people are there to watch you to have a great time to experience an artist so you want to give them that experience you want them to feel that love and that energy and that high of being in a concert um but at the same time yes there are these i think um security slash just general hygiene measures that should be maintained in concerts to to avoid accidents injuries um it can be either way right i mean today it was the artist tomorrow it could be somebody in the audience also with the type of repertoire you have you are one of the multilinguistic vo vocalists that we have who's been singing some of the biggest chart posters do you think it is important for a singer to be seen and get close to her fans more regularly maybe by appearing on a music reality show and connect with the audience that loves you so much and wants to know more about you yeah i think um be ha like building face value of a singer is very important especially in an industry like indian uh, in the indian film industry where um music is playback oriented like in most other parts of the world the music industry is very different from the film industry and they sometimes overlap but in india it's very much a part of the film industry and which is why most of the people don't know their singers yeah so i think it is very important i don't know about reality shows or uh, that is a whole other conversation but i think in general i don't know how that comes across i think when we promote film music singers should be you know sort of um, be there the yeah present at these promotions and interviewed because it's they are you know the voices that are being heard on on the screen so i think that building that connection with the audience is important now you know you learn music at air mans music conservatory yeah i did a <laughs> part time course there can you read music sheets yes but very poorly <laughs> it's called staff notation so basically where um visually i think the easiest way to explain it is that you know when when you draw something uh, low lower in the in the set of bars then it's a lower note like visually how you would see it on a piano it's very similar to actually the hindustani way where you have sare gama pa da ni sa and you have do re mi fa sol so that you know and so in in the western classical it's a b c d e f g and then back to a it's the same number of intervals it's just that it's represented visually on lines and I can see a lot of notations yeah. behind you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Godi mein pahadiyon ki ujale to pehri guzarna. Hai hai tere saath mein. Acha lage. Sang chal rahe hai. Sang chal rahe hai. Dhup ke kinare. Chhao ki tarah. काफिराना इश्क है या क्या है कूल थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच And with that, we have come to the end of this week's show. We will see you next week, where I tell you about next week's release, Gulmohar, starring Sharmila Tagore and Manoj Vajpayee, and a woohoo moment where two of biggest superstars of Telugu cinema, Rana Dagubati and Venkatesh, come home to our studios for a heartwarming chat. Until then, goodbye. Take care. Thank you for watching. <laughs>